What is variable in JavaScript? Variables are used to store data. It is like a container where we use to store things at home. To declare a variable in JavaScript, we use the var, let and const keyword. We can write var x here where is the keyword to declare a variable and x is the identifier or name of the variable. We can also declare variable like let x or const x. The var keyword is the oldest and the most common way to declare variables. The let keyword is a newer keyword that was introduced in ES6. We will learn about ES6 later in the advanced JavaScript. The const keyword is used to declare constants which are variables that cannot be changed. Once you have declared a variable, you can assign a value to it using equal sign. For example, where x equal to 30. The following code declares a variable called x and assign it the value 30. Variables can be used to store any type of data including number, a string, objects and arrays. For example, if I write where x equal to double quote or single quote any message. hello world so here we are storing the string data type in the x variable variables name must begin with alphabet dollar sign or underscore if i write 2x it is not a valid name for the variable if i write anything in the alphabet it is valid and we can also declare it with the dollar sign we can start like this dollar x it is valid and we can also use underscore here like this underscore x let me remove it so you can see it is valid format to write a variable name you can start with dollar and you can start with any alphabet in uppercase or lowercase it is valid but if you start from the number it is not a valid name for the variable if you add the valid character then later you can add number it is valid JavaScript is case sensitive, so if you write where first name equal to greatest stack and if you write first name with the lowercase n, so these two variables name are different, it is not same because here we have the different case. So JavaScript is case sensitive. That's why it is two different variables name. Now let's understand about the let keyword. Let keyword in JavaScript is used to declare a block a scoped variable. This means that the variable is only visible within the block in which it is declared. For example, if I write let x equal to and if x greater than 5 yes it is greater than 5 because the x value is 10 in this block we will add let y equal to 20 and here if I try to display the value of y we will add console dot log y so you can see this y value in the console tab here you can see 20 correct we have added this code within this curly braces so it's a block and if i try to access this y outside of this block we will copy this and paste it here outside of this block and now if i try to run it you can see one error reference error y is not defined 
So if you try to access the y value outside of this if statement, you will get a reference error. This is because variable y is not defined outside of this block. Now let's understand about the const keyword. So the const keyword in JavaScript is used to declare a constant variable. This means that the variable cannot be reassigned to a new value. For example, if I write const a equal to 4. So we are assigning a value 4 in the a variable. Now if I print this console.log a we will get 4 in the console tab. Now in the next line if I try to write a equal to 5 we are trying to reassign a new value a equal to 5 and run this you can see we got an error assignment to constant variable so we cannot assign a new value in constant variable now let's learn about the scope in javascript scope in javascript refers to the visibility of variables and functions within a program in javascript there are three type of a scope global scope function scope and the third one is block scope so let's learn about the global scope the global scope is the outermost scope in the javascript program variables and functions declared in the global scope are visible from anywhere in the program let's understand it with one example if i write where x equal to hello great stack and here we create one function called example and in this one if i try to print this message if i write console dot log x and now we have to call this function example now you can see this message in the console tab hello great stack over here in this example we have declared a variable x outside of any function or block which makes it a global variable global variables are accessible from anywhere in the script including inside a function and we have declared this outside of the function so we can access it within the function and outside of the function also if i simply add this here and it will also print this you can see hello great stack two times the first one is printed using this console.log written inside the function and the second message is printed using this console.log x so this was the global scope now let's understand what is the function scope so the function scope is created when a function is declared variables and functions declared in a functions scope are only visible within that function so let's understand this function scope with one example here we will add function example here we will create one variable where fs function scope equal to hello create a stack and if i try to display the output we will add console dot log fs and now just call this function so now you can see this message hello greater stack because we are accessing this variable inside this function now if i try to access this fs outside of this function let's copy this and paste it here outside of this function and try to run it 
we got an error fs is not defined why because we have defined this fs variable inside this function so it is a function a scope variable and now we are trying to access this fs outside of this function it is not accessible so the variables and functions declared in a functions a scope are only visible within that function now let's understand the block scope so the block scope in javascript refers to the visibility of variables and functions within a block of code a block of code is a group of statement that are enclosed in a curly braces variables and functions declared in a block scope are only visible within that block let's understand block scope with one example let's create one function and in this one we will create one block true and here we are creating one block with this curly braces so within this if we will add one variable so let's add the variable name block variable bv equal to create a stack and here if we try to display this console dot log bv and just call this example now you can see this message create a stack in the console tab here because we are accessing this variable inside this block now if i try to access this variable outside of this block it is declared inside this block and if i try to access here this block is closing here so let's add this line here at line number nine and now if i try to run you can see we got an error in line number nine bv is not defined because we are accessing this variable outside of this block let's try to access this variable outside of this function only let's remove it from here add, add it here at the end and now you can see the error message at line number 12 bv is not defined because we are trying to access this variable outside of this block so the variable and functions declared in a block scope are only visible within that block so this was all about the variables and the scope in javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel great stack to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video